Hey everybody! It's Chinese New Year in just a few days and so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update of what's going to be happening in 2017 because we are going from Fire Monkey into Fire Rooster. That's a really big difference in the energy and I, I don't know about you but I'm already feeling it. You know, uh, 2016 was a crazy year. It was a complete circus uh, when it came to a lot of things, some very well publicized things and then personal things too. And now we're going into Fire Rooster and Rooster is very much more of a, a managerial sort of energy. It is energy about uh, taking care of business, but there's also some other qualities that I, of the Rooster that I want to talk about. Chinese astrology is very interesting in that it uh, combines energy of an animal sign uh, with one of the five elements and then the quality of being yin or yang. And so we are actually going into a rooster year. It is a fire year and it's a yin year. And so this is uh, the combination of energies that we're going to be talking about. And specifically here, what I want to mention is about the rooster itself. You know, one of the great things about Chinese astrology is because there's an animal associated with it, we can easily understand the energies. I mean, for example, you know, here's, here's a couple of roosters and this particular rooster uh, is all bright colors and, you know, really showing off. This is that energy of a rooster year. It's, it's bold, it's speaking up, you know, getting up at the crack of dawn, crowing, being in charge of others, being admired, you know. Uh, so there's one rooster in a whole flock of hens and this idea of, of being admired is very important in a rooster year. So some of the traditional things about a rooster year is that we get progress in our lives by taking bold action, not being shy, but going outside of our comfort zone. It is also a good year to be dramatic, and that is to really uh, state to other people, this is what I'm doing, you know, uh, look at me, look at me. On the, on the flip side, because uh, rooster, rooster is not a tiger or a dragon, it's a bird, a bird that, that can't really even fly. And so we do care very much about our security. It, it is a time where we're going to want to step out into the world, but only after we've made sure that we are okay at home. That is, you know, are the bills paid? Is there food in the cupboard? You know, it, it's the idea that you know, maybe you want to start a new business, but you don't just walk in, quit your job, and then start your business from scratch. Because we care about security, this is about starting your business on the side and causing it to grow and be bigger and bigger so it actually pushes out your regular job. And that's the reason that you quit your job. This is also a very active animal. Roosters run around and they do things, they get up early, and so we uh, can experience a much healthier year when we stay active. Rooster loves to be in charge. They are very focused on the details of life and they love an argument. So expect to argue with many, many people this year. Now, rooster years, we can also get very tied to a schedule and we can get very upset when people are late or when we ourselves are late. And so be aware of, uh, you know, how you're driving, uh, if you're running late, are you driving too aggressively or other people on the road driving aggressively and also, you know, cut some other people some slack when they show up late, you know, understand that things do happen. and. So just because somebody is late doesn't mean your whole day schedule is destroyed. You know, just, you know, maybe take a book with you or something, some work to do in case somebody's late. This is also a, a, uh, a year where we can be quite critical and Rooster is not known for diplomacy. And so there is that 
that idea that we're going to just state whatever it is that we're feeling at the moment and let the chips fall where they may. But this can cause a lot of ruffled feathers. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm good, huh? And so the, uh, the energy here is to remind us that while we're feeling impatient and critical, we don't have to be that to other people. And that's just a little bit of what's going on for Rooster. Of course, there's much more in my book, Chinese Astrology 2017, Year of the Fire Rooster, where I have incorporated feng shui cures for seven important areas in your life, where I have uh, written out uh, month by month predictions for each sign. There's a big section on compatibility, on eclipses. Uh, there is stuff on Mercury retrograde, on the flying star. The book is chock full of information. It is available on Amazon. I'm going to place a link in the comment section below and I want you guys to have a very happy new year.